It is my pleasure to welcome you today on behalf of my colleagues at Hockey Canada, our board of directors, and the more than 700,000 players, coaches, and officials who make up Hockey Canada's membership from coast to coast to coast. J'aimerais aussi souligner nos commentaires principaux pour leur appui de nos programmes et de notre mandat de mettre plus de Canadiens et Canadiennes sur la patte noire. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize our premier partners who support Hockey Canada's recruitment, retention, and programming initiatives from the grassroots lev levels through to the men's and women's national teams, Imperial, SO, Nike, Imperial Oil SO brand, Nike, RBC, TELUS, and TSN LDS. We have a very full program today, so let me begin by first thanking Oilers Entertainment Group for their warm hospitality here in the Oilers Hall of Fame. I'd also like to welcome our guests for today, Mr. Martin Urban, General Secretary of the Czech Ice Hockey Association, Mr. Miroslav Valacek, General Secretary of the Slovak Ice Hockey Federation, Mrs. Libiana Hilinkova, representative of the family of Ivan Hilinka, Mr. Bob Nicholson, Vice Chair and CEO of Oilers Entertainment Group, the Honorable Ricardo Miranda, Minister of Culture and Tourism for the Government of Alberta, Councillor Steve McKean of the City of Edmonton, and Mr. Darnell Nurse, Team Canada alumni, alumnus and defenseman with the Edmonton Oilers, as well as Mr. Tom Rennie, President and CEO of Hockey Canada. Now to make up for introducing him last, I'd like to call upon Tom to start us off today with our announcement. Thanks. Hello everyone. <clears throat> um, things have changed since the last time I was here. N nice work, Bob, by the way. Uh, thank you, Lisa, very much appreciate that. Um, just on behalf of Hockey Canada, I'd like to acknowledge uh, pretty much the same people, uh, but it's incumbent on me to do so for sure. Uh, Minister Miranda in the province of Alberta, thank you very much, and we'll all understand why as time goes on, uh, to say the least. Scott, thank you for being here as well, representing the city, uh, very much appreciated. Uh, certainly, I want to recognize um, Rob Latwinski from Hockey Alberta and uh, Dean Hengel from Hockey Edmonton as well. Uh, as much as anything, I want to thank Bob and the Oilers Entertainment Group for the opportunity to be here today to have this uh, real important uh, press conference and to have a, a visit with you subsequent to that on what this is really all about. But as Lisa alluded to, um, really, really important to recognize Martin Urban uh, from the Czech Ice Hockey Federation, uh, Igor Nemechek from the Slovak Ice Hockey Federation, uh, Miro Valicek from the Slovak Ice Hockey Federation, and of course Lublin Lublinia Hilevinkova. Um, very, very nice to have you here. Um, those last names are really critical uh, to why it is we are here. The Ivan Halinka Memorial Cup is coming to Canada, Alberta, and Edmonton. And we are excited about that. This is the premier under-18 event in the world annually. Yes, we play for a world under-18 uh, championship on a regular basis. Uh, but this is the one uh, where the very best in the world in their age group compete. And what makes this very special, of course, is not just that, but when you look at the World Under 20, for example, and the numbers of players from all federations uh, that ultimately uh, play and those that play in the National Hockey League are not available uh, to their federations and their club teams, uh, this is bigger and more important because every player that is of the ilk of international uh, talent and ability plays in this event. Uh, so we're excited about... Uh, 2018, 2020, and 2022, uh, who along with our partners, the Slovak Ice Hockey Federation, the Czech Ice Hockey Federation, Hockey Canada, and the Oilers Entertainment Group look forward to hosting uh, an incredible event uh, here in Edmonton. I want to make note of um, Ivan's jersey, wherever that might be. Uh, right over here, you'll see that uh, the Ivan Linka uh, Memorial uh, Cup is symbolic of that jersey right there with the number 21. And on um, behalf of Labinia, I, I think it's important that we all recognize Ivan's contribution, uh, not just to this event through his name, of course, but what he's done for hockey um, internationally. Uh, many of you will remember Ivan being a player um, with his uh, national team. You'll remember him being a player with the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, you'll certainly remember him being a coach with the Pittsburgh Penguins and the first one to do so in a head coaching position, and very well, I might add. 
and of course as national team coach and Olympic team coach with the Czech Republic as well. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that because Ivan is in the room and it's important that we recognize that and, and understand uh, the value of this competition in his name because of what he symbolized uh, as a hockey man and a hockey person, not just in his homeland, uh, but around the world. Um, this is a significant tournament, and it's significant because of the timing of it. Uh, if you look at August, quite honestly, uh, it does give us an opportunity to really and truly play the best on best. Uh, it's strategically placed because we get an opportunity too for um, in a time of the year where people uh, are now closing out summer and get an opportunity to identify with hockey. Uh, the National Hockey League uh, certainly has an opportunity to pay very close attention to this event. And with that being said, be a, part a participant in it uh, in many, many ways. Uh, and that because of, uh, be as such, is a real strategic move, I believe, um, thanks to um, the Czech Republic and Slovakia in the first place identifying with this timing uh, and this event. So to have that here in Edmonton in the third week of August, starting in 2018, uh, is an exceptional opportunity. Um, certainly grateful for the participation of our, of our partners, to say the least. The other thing that I think this does, and we have to pay particular attention to this um, in this day and age, is recognize, um, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a tough world, you know, where it's hard to kind of line up and, and coexist and identify with those things that can help us think singularly of what it is we love to do. Um, you know, hockey can do that. And certainly with the Oilers Entertainment Group and, and their vision, Hockey Canada's desire to um, be a global participant in the game and recognize that through high performance, grassroots and development lives and is nurtured. And with that being said, we look at this opportunity with our good friends from Europe and identify with how we can reach across the water and do something very, very special um, for the citizenship of the world, quite honestly. And I think that uh, Edmontonians will have the opportunity to witness that firsthand. And we hope um, around the world set an example as to how we can coexist through sport uh, and do wonderful things, especially when we get the opportunity to showcase the best in the world in an age group um, to serve as motivation for younger people to just be flat out good at whatever it is they might want to do. And of course, we hope it's a sport of choice, uh, and that's hockey. So because of our emotional connection to the jersey, uh, because of our desire to be the very best at what we do in hockey globally, uh, because of the residual effect of all of that with children playing the game and identifying with being very good at something and knowing that it's okay, um, I welcome you to the press conference. Thank you very much for being here. Um, Igor, thank you. Marty, thank you. Yabelinia, thank you very much. Meryl, it's a pleasure. And Bobby, thanks again to you and the Oilers Entertainment Group uh, for having us here. And on behalf of Hockey Canada, Joe Drago, our chairman of the Board of Hockey Canada, and hundreds of thousands of participants and volunteers across the country, um, thanks for recognizing the value of this event and what it is it can do by your presence today. Thanks very much. Thank you, Tom. I'd now like to introduce Martin Urban, General Secretary of the Czech Ice Hockey Association. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I get tough task because <clears throat> almost everything was already said, but <clears throat> first of all, let me, let me thank organizers for inviting us over here to nice city of Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, it's a long way to travel, I can tell you, for two days. But uh, I'm pretty sure that this time spent over here won't be wa waste time. So Ivan Linka Memorial Under-18 Tournament. That's high class, high class uh, tournament when the best players under 18 can meet each other. Uh, after, right after half a year, this tournament, IHF is organizing World Championships under 18. But no, uh, not all the best guys can participate in because it's a very simple reason, CHL playoffs. So maybe that's why lots of scouts, hundreds of scouts are attending Czech Republic and Slovakia to see those high-class high games. 
with our colleagues, Sweden, Finland, Russia, especially Canada, USA, Switzerland and Slovakia, especially with Canada and Slovakia. We were thinking how to, how to improve this tournament, how to raise it to even higher level. And with all the respect to organizers in my country and in Slovakia, we can generate only, only hundreds of people into the stands, maybe two, four thousand maximum. And uh, we feel potential moving, moving the tournament to, to this city that uh, in 2018 we will face full house over here with this great city and great facility. So the tournament itself, it's not about hockey. It's, it's also about uh, social issues, about partnership, friendship, about exchanging ideas because and especially summertime is great time in my country and <laughs> I believe and I trust that summertime will be great time in, in, in this city also to play, for example, golf tournament, to maybe, uh, to maybe have a couple of drinks and uh, of wine and uh, unformally uh, sit and think how to develop hockey worldwide. And uh, this is also the goal, goal of, of this tournament. Also, we usually invite, uh, invite uh, coaches. We are we having coaching symposium for Czech coaches only, but there are some presenters from, from the other countries. So exchanging ideas, it's also important issue. So I wanna thank again to everyone. And uh, if you ask me any questions, so it will, follow up after this official press conference. Thank you. I now invite Miroslav Valacek, General Secretary of the Slovak Ice Hockey Federation to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Like Martin and Tom said a lot, I have to first of all thanks to the Hockey Canada president, their people, also Edmonton Oilers organization, their people to invite us and to be personally here and be in the emotion to see what's going on and what exactly place will host it, the Linka tournament. Um, let's say, uh, after, after 27 years, we, we need to do the Linka tournament, put new fresh air and fresh air breeze to Edmonton. And uh, let's say for the, for the young, young prospects, for the young players, this place, uh, what I saw today is a big opportunity to, to smell the NHL condition, like player, we, we, can, we can, through that tournament, and de develop all new stars to the system, and therefore I'm, I'm glad that uh, after debate uh, we choose this part of Canada. So you are hockey nation, like Czech does and also Slovak does. We love, hot, lo, uh, we love hockey, so we, we look forward to, to be here and to, to personally be involved to this big tournament. So uh, only one pity that we have to wait uh, for one more year, but you know always uh, when it's good thing, it's not going right away for the good things you have wait. So I hope everything goes well and uh, we, we will have nice tournament here. So good luck to organizer. I, Keep finger crossed to, to be everything good. So say greetings from Slovakia to all Canadians fans. Thank you. We are honored to have Ivan Halinka's spouse, Mrs. Lipiena Halinkova, with us today for the announcement.
Poprosím, Petra, ho překládal. Dobrý den, vážené dámy, vážení pánové. Dovolte, abych především poděkovala Českému a Slovenskému svazu ledního hokeje za pozornost a péči, kterou memoriálu Ivana Hlinky po celou dobu jeho existenci věnovali a kterou mu věnují. Hi, I want to thank to everybody coming over here and uh, to the Oilers, uh, to Hockey Canada and uh, to everyone that uh, has always uh, promoted and been part of uh, Hlinka, uh, Ivan Hlinka Memorial Cup. And uh, she's uh, basically saying she's looking forward to a further cooperation. Stejně tak děkuji organizaci Hokej Kanada a pořadatelům, pořadatelům v Edmontonu za ochotu stát se hostiteli tohoto prestižního turnaje a přivítat ho v zemi, která je hokej zaslíbená. I want to thank to uh, Hockey Canada, to Edmonton Lawyers Group for uh, being willing and uh, want to participate in, in uh, hosting this uh, tournament and uh, Uh, we all look uh, forward to it. Můj manžel Ivan Hlinka hokejem žil, dával mu ať už jako hráč nebo později trenér všechno. Určitě by, si pro, určitě by byl proto nesmírně pišný a hrdý na to, že turnaj nesu, nesoucí jeho jméno se jednou bude hrát právě v kolébce ledního hokeje. My husband Ivan was uh, living for hockey. And uh, for him to, uh, if he could see that uh, uh, what's going on and what has happened with the tournament, uh, he would be really proud. And especially uh, when this tournament will be played in the future, in uh, the birthright of the hockey. Ještě jednou vám děkuji a turnaj přeji, aby se v něm i v budoucnosti představilo co nejvíce osobností, které budou rozdávat zážitky a radost milionům fanoušků na celém světě. Moc vám děkuji a moc si vážím toho, že tady můžu být. Děkuji vám. And I look forward to see many, many young players to come through this tournament to be a future stars of the hockey. I want to thank you all uh, for um, the opportunity and your uh, welcome uh, that we felt uh, coming to this town. And uh, she wants to say thank you very much to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, and a special thank you to Peter Svoboda for assisting us with the translation. Let's now hear from our hosts at Oilers Entertainment Group, specifically Order of Hockey in Canada Distinguished Honoree and Vice Chair and CEO of Oilers Entertainment Group, Bob Nicholson. Great, thank you very much. And um, first of all, Tom, uh, Yeah, it's a real honor for the Oilers to, uh, to be host hosting this. And, you know, it goes back a long time, uh, Marty, uh, Igor. We started to talk about this about five or six years ago and to now be able to announce this. And I can tell you that uh, we are going to make this special. It is all the uh, best players in the world coming together to start the season. It's a huge event for the National Hockey League. And I love your comment, Martin, about... You know, it is hockey, but there's so much more. And we're fortunate uh, to bring in our partners with the uh, Alberta government and the city and uh, to make this a, a big festival. Uh, we want to make sure that our fans understand all the players that are playing here. And, you know, Darnell, it's great to have you here. Uh, we have so many players on our existing roster of the Oilers that played in the Ivan Olenka, and it still is all about the players and making sure that they have, you know, a first class event and, you know, something to strive for. And for a lot of them, it's the first time that they put on their uh, national team jersey. And that is always a memory that uh, no matter where you take your hockey career, whether it's to the NHL or just to uh, develop yourself as an individual, that's something you never forget. So uh, this is going to be special starting in 18. Uh, we get to host it uh, every second year, and as uh, both Miro and uh, Martin said, uh, we plan on filling the building 
and we plan on having golf tournaments and other events so that we can really bring this city alive. So again, to you, Tom, thank you. Uh, Martin, uh, we've been friends for, seems like ever, especially when I have to go out at nights with you, it is ever, but, uh, and Igor, thanks for that, and Miro, uh, it's gonna be a great partnership, thank you. It is my pleasure to welcome next the Honorable Ricardo Miranda, Alberta's Minister of Culture and Tourism responsible for sport. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here on behalf of Premier Rachel Notley and the Government of Alberta as we gather on this very uh, special day on traditional Treaty 7 territory uh, to, to welcome this especially um, fantastic opportunity. Distinguished guests, I am thrilled that the Ivan Halinka Memorial Cup, as we know it today, will be played in Canada for the first time right here in Edmonton. Je suis ravi que le tournoi de la Coupe Memorial Ivan Halinka, tel que le connaît aujourd'hui, aura lieu dans notre, dans notre pays pour la première fois ici à Edmonton. Les meilleurs de moins de 18 années seront, seront sur la glace pour démontrer leur habilité et talent et dans le monde entier. Cet événement prestigieux attirera des touristes partout dans le monde et stimulera notre économie. C'est une journée excitante pour notre ville, notre province et notre pays. Some of you might know that Edmonton is known as Alberta's winter city. And of course, you cannot have winter in Canada without hockey. So it is fitting that Edmonton be the place where we showcase Canada's best young hockey players to the world. This is an exciting opportunity, not only for the city, but for the province and the country. Hosting this world-class event will be a great boost to our economy, as mentioned, as we will draw tourists from around the world to the province, where they will discover the beauty, generosity, hospitality that Alberta is known for. Of course, bringing this tournament here is sure to inspire the next generations of Alberta's elite athletes. The government of Alberta is extremely proud to be a partner in this tournament and to share in this great news. So congratulations to the City of Edmonton's Hockey Canada and the Oilers Entertainment Group on successfully bringing this tournament to Edmonton. I have no doubt that the event will be fantastic, especially in such amazing place as this. I look forward to uh, the, the puck being dropped in 2018 and thank you for inviting me. Events of this size and scope can, are not possible without the support of the host community, from the volunteers to the city council itself. Representing the city of Edmonton is Councillor Scott McKean. Thank you very much. It is a real thrill to be here and uh, talk about synchronicity. I had to leave a meeting early to get over here and that was the planning of a Winter City Conference for early 2017. And the idea to our Winter City Initiative is to try to exploit this resource we have in abundance in this city, and that's winter. And so to see this tournament now bringing people from all over the world to see uh, this great winter city, it might not be that cold at that time of year, but that's fine too, um, I think is just terrific. Uh, the, you know, hockey is our game. I must tell you, though, that the Winter City Conference will also be featuring another high performance sport of uh, toboggan luge down Connors Hill. Hopefully there'll be some media teams participating in that. But the, the opportunity to host the Ivan Halenka Memorial uh, Cup in 2018, 2020, and 2020, 2022, it'll help showcase the city, but also um, strengthen this notion of Edmonton as a great event city, a city that hosts the world happily and uh, I hope we can continue to build on this exciting announcement through further collaboration with international partners for even more events in the future. Edmontonians are well known for working hard and playing hard and you'd be hard pressed to find a city that is more passionate about hockey. So over the next six years, we look forward to witness, witnessing matchups between the top talents from eight great hockey countries right here in our own backyard in the best arena in the world. I encourage Edmontonians and all Albertans to show their support for this competition and their passion for the sport by getting into the action on, in 2018. I want to thank our partners, Government of Alberta, Oilers Entertainment Group for their hard work and generous support for this project. Thank you to everyone involved in organizing this tournament 
and we look forward to continuing to work with all our partners to make the Ivan Halinka Memorial Cup a fantastic pl event for players and fans alike. Thank you very much. Last but certainly not least, I'd like to invite Canada's national under-18 summer team alumnus and Ivan Halinka Memorial Cup gold medalist for Canada, known better here in, in Edmonton these days as a member of the city's beloved Oilers, Darnell Nurse. There we go. Um, I had the opportunity to play in this tournament in uh, 2012, and obviously, as Bob said earlier, it's one of the first opportunities you have to wear your country's crest, and uh, it was a huge honor. Uh, a lot of the guys that I actually played with in the tournament, I uh, have the opportunity to play against uh, on a nightly basis here in this league, and uh, you know, it's, a, it's a huge stepping stone. Uh, you, you have the opportunity to play against the best in the world. Uh, it, it really challenges you as a player, um, but at, at the same time, you, you get to be in the atmosphere around the best that you play against in the CHL or you've played against growing up. And uh, you know, it opens up your eyes uh, as a player uh, of what it takes to get to the next level and, and the kind of competition that uh, you're going to be facing. Uh, I think a big thing also uh, being here uh, as a player is to thank everyone uh, sitting at these tables because uh, without uh, all the work that you do behind the scenes, uh, the, these tournaments wouldn't be uh, possible for us as players. So. Uh, yeah, thank you uh, for having me here today. Uh, thank you for bringing this tournament to, to Canada and uh, you know, looking forward to it. I'd like to thank all of our guests today and thank you to the media for attending.